Hello folks, this is Movie Metal Rock McDonald here, aka uh, Jarrett, and a um, little bit of entertainment news recently, and, th and this is Disney related. Um, Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney has stepped down. Now like I said, I really don't like, when I thought about this, I was like, eh, whatever, okay. Um. I'm not really too excited because, because just because he stepped down, that doesn't mean that Disney is going to get rid of their SJW woke um, agenda. They're probably going to, they're probably going to keep that in mind. They're probably going to keep that, and just because the just because uh, Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, steps down. That does not mean like the new guy is going to get rid of Calvin Kennedy. Okay, I highly doubt that. Okay, I believe the other guy that's taking over, that's supposedly taking over for uh, Bob Iger, his first name is also Bob. Yeah, I think his name is Chip Peck. I don't know. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his last name. I could be wrong. But that's, that's like the supposedly. Uh, successor to Bob Iger, which I find ironic. That uh, his first name, his first name is also Bob. Like I said, supposedly I don't know if that's true or not. Cause I don't want to give out false information. Um. When I first yeah, when I first heard about this, I was like, eh, well, okay, whatever. Bob Iger steps down, okay. Because this isn't the first time they. Big, uh, big CEO of a company that stepped down for a major company. Okay, I can't think of anything. I can't think of of any on top of my head right now. But I'm pretty sure Bob Barger is not the first. I think he's not going to be the last. Okay, let's just be honest. Um, like I said, this new guy, he's probably not going to fire Kevin Kennedy. Okay, because. Let's think, let's, let's think about it. Disney right now are, are run by a bunch of yes men. Okay. And I don't think they have, I don't think anybody from Disney has the balls to fire Kevin Kennedy. But like I said, it's not really a big deal for me because I'm not the biggest Disney guy in the world anyway. Don't get me wrong, I love some of their movies. I love some of the classics. I love The Lion King, Aladdin. Um the national uh, national treasure uh, my favorite i'll say my favorite Disney animated movie are, it's a toss between uh the lion king and aladdin because those are the first those because those are the two i watched the most and i watched the rescuers down under a lot when i was a kid and rescue down under is a very underrated movie it's a very underrated sequel underrated sequel and guess what i like that movie more than the first movie because it's actually more exciting the first Regis Rescue movie is kind of boring, in my opinion. But I hadn't seen those movies, like, forever. I do have Aladdin on DVD, but I hadn't watched it in a while. But, <clears throat> my favorite Disney movie is how probably be the, part, the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. That's my favorite Disney movie. And I'm a huge fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. And no, you don't need a... It'd be the fifth or sixth. Yeah, I don't think you need like a six Pirates of the Caribbean movie that just ended right there, but I'm babbling about Disney. But like I said, I have no like like deep thoughts about Bob Iger leaving Disney. I was like, huh, whatever. It is what it is. You know, CEOs step down um, from major companies. So it's not really a big deal for me. And and that's all I got to say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. And see you guys later. Bye.